Are you interested in the brand Nest Bedding but have no idea where to start? Well, then you clicked on the right video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, I'm a CNET, and we're gonna do an entire overview of all the beds from the brand Nest Bedding. They all have bird names, which makes sense because it's Nest Bedding, and I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on every single mattress. We have way more information down below in the description, including individual written and video reviews. This is more just kind of give you a primer on this mattress lineup. If you found this video helpful and interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's briefly cover the policies that these beds are backed by, all five of the beds from Nest, not including their kids' beds, which we're not really gonna get into in this video. We're gonna throw up the policies on screen and it's pretty standard except they go above and beyond with the extra long trial period of 365 nights and a lifetime warranty. And there is one thing I should mention that Nest has that we haven't really seen with any of the brands and that is their lifetime renewal exchange program. In the past, this was free with any mattress purchase. It does seem like sometimes they will include it for free, sometimes they have to pay for it. So basically the top comfort layer of most of the beds from Nest are removable. And the lifetime renewal exchange program means that you can get a new one sent to you to either make the bed feel a little bit firmer or to replace it as it's getting older, which does increase the lifespan of the mattress. Again, it might be included with the mattress purchase, might not be. From what I can see online right now, some of the beds do have this included for free. Others will ask you to pay an extra $250, which I do think is probably worth it in the long run. I'll have more information about this program down below in the description. Let's just start getting into the beds themselves now, and we're just gonna start with the most popular down to the least popular, and their most popular bed by far is the Sparrow Hybrid. So construction-wise, this bed does feature a pretty thick layer of pocketed coils as its main support layer. That is gonna be pretty standard for all the beds from Nest that are hybrids. So if you are heavier and you want a lot of long-term support and durability, you should be good to go on the Sparrow Hybrid. And this bed does come in three different firmness options. You have a plush, a medium, and a firm. The plush model from what we've seen is incredibly soft and should probably be avoided for most people. If you're a very petite side sleeper who wants maximum pressure relief, this might be a good option. Or if you have some kind of medical condition that requires a ton of pressure relief, this could be a good option. But the medium model works really well for side sleepers and certain combination sleepers. We actually found it to be slightly softer than a medium. So I would just stick with that one if you're a side sleeper. The firm model is gonna be around a medium firm, so a really nice option for back, stomach, and combo sleepers. Kind of runs the whole gamut, although that plush model is very specialized. And as you can probably tell just by looking at it, this bed has a nice, big, fluffy, quilted pillow top that is gonna be the primary feel of the mattress. Just a nice, comfy pillow top feel that I think most people will really like. The very top layer, the quilted cover on this bed, does include a bit of memory foam, but memory foam isn't really gonna be the predominant feel of the bed at all, and I think most people will really, really enjoy the feel of this mattress, I know I do. This bed is also a really nice option for couples who are opting for a king or a cal king size, because this bed does something pretty unique that, again, we don't really see on a lot of other mattress brands, is that you can actually get a split firmness in the same mattress. So you can have one side be a medium, one side be a firm, or whatever else you like. This does increase the price of the mattress a little bit, but it is pretty cool because most of the time if you are in a couple and your sleeping preferences are just too far apart that you can't compromise, you have to get two twin XL mattresses and push them together, which works pretty okay, but you wind up having a thin gap in between. With this, it's all in the same mattress, so that makes it pretty compelling for couples. So there's a lot to like here. The price of this bed is a bit higher than some others you might find in this class, a really nice pillow top mattress, but it's not exorbitantly expensive. Once you factor in discounts, you should expect to pay somewhere between 1850 and 1800 bucks for a queen size Sparrow High hybrid. Prices for these beds do change pretty regularly, so make sure you look down below in the description for up-to-date pricing and discounts. But I do see this bed as being Nest's most popular for a reason. It's very accommodating, very customizable, and very comfortable. Let's move on to the Owl mattress, which is their latex foam version of the Sparrow. This bed's construction and customizability in the Lifetime Renewal Exchange program is very, very similar to the Sparrow, only instead of using Energex foam and memory foam as its primary comfort layers, it's gonna be using natural latex foam. Latex foam is the foam of choice for any mattress trying to be more in that natural niche because latex foam is naturally derived from the sap of rubber tree as opposed to being chemical based. And it gives the mattress a very different feel profile in comparison to something like the Sparrow. You still get this nice fluffy pillow top, but the latex foam is just a much more responsive bouncy material in comparison to the foams used in pretty much any other mattress. So you get some nice pressure relief and cushioning from the latex foam, especially if you're going with the plush or the medium option of the Owl, but it's just much more responsive, almost like a buoyant feeling. 
and it does take some getting used to. I personally really like the feel of latex foam, but it might be a little bit too much for some people. So a bit more specialized of a feel on this mattress, a bit less universally comfortable, but you get the benefits of latex foam being a bit more durable, being more breathable, and being more naturally derived, which some people are really looking for. So very similar mattress. You just have to like the idea of latex foam. And it makes sense after just talking about the Owl mattress to talk about the Finch mattress, even though it's not their next most popular, but these beds are incredibly similar. The only real difference between the Owl and the Finch is that the Finch uses more latex foam as its primary support layer instead of coils. And it only comes in a medium and a firm instead of a plush medium and firm. I'm not really sure why many people would gravitate toward the Finch mattress as opposed to the Owl mattress, unless you really like the idea of having a quote unquote full latex mattress, aside from the cover, of course. And it will do a little bit better job at isolating motion, but latex foam is such a bouncy material already. I would personally just probably stick with the Owl mattress, and especially considering the Finch and the Owl are roughly the same price. But if you want something without coils, you do have that option available with the Finch mattress, and you still get all those latex foam benefits that I just talked about. Let's move on to the Raven mattress. And this mattress was briefly called the Robin when we initially tested it. So you'll see in our footage that it's called the Robin, but rest assured it's the same exact mattress it's just called the Raven now. The unique selling point of this mattress is that it has a flippable design with two different firmness options. You have a medium side and a firm side. In our testing, we did find the medium side to be pretty much exactly what they said it was, which is a flat medium. So it should work pretty well for all sleeper types back some exciting combination. But if you flip it over to the firm side, it's closer to a medium firm, which makes it a bit more appealing to more strict back and stomach sleepers and certain combo sleepers. Having a flippable mattress is pretty nice because maybe you're not sure exactly what you want in terms of firmness for your next mattress. And this gives you some room to experiment with. The feel of the Robin mattress on either side is gonna be more akin to the Sparrow mattress we talked about earlier. It uses a very similar, more responsive, neutral feeling foam that I think most people will probably like and provides this bed a nice overall neutral feel. We are getting into more affordable territory with these nest beds. You're looking at around 850 bucks after discount. That might change because the discount they're running right now is very steep, but it's still more affordable than the other beds we've discussed so far. And I think it does a nice job at being a more accommodating flippable mattress than some others that we've tested, like the Plank or the Layla. So I think there's a lot to like here and it's still pretty affordable. And then the last bed we need to talk about is the Quail mattress, which is kind of Ness answer to the more basic all foam mattress from its competitors like Casper and Lisa and beds like that. This bed is fairly unique in this category of bed because it actually doesn't include any memory foam within its construction. It uses a layer of transition foam on the medium model and a pretty thick layer of what they call Energex foam, which is basically the same foam that you find in the Raven and the Sparrow. So it has a nice responsive neutral feel overall. And it has two firmness options, which is a pretty atypical for a mattress like this. You have a medium and a firm. The medium is gonna be around a flat medium, so it should work pretty well for all sleeper types. And that firm model gonna be more around a medium firm. So this bed is fairly unique and pretty affordable. Right now, queen size has MSRP of about 1300 bucks, but it will regularly go on discount and right now it's around 1100, which does put it right in that same pricing tier as beds like Casper and Lisa, like I mentioned earlier. So a pretty interesting option for just your basic all foam bed in a box mattress. And that leaves us with the question, which of these five beds from Nest Bedding should you consider getting? I think the Sparrow is their most popular mattress for a reason. It's super accommodating, has a lot of different premise options available and is very customizable. I think a lot of people who pick up that mattress will like it a lot. And then you have the Owl mattress, which is their more latex foam version of the Sparrow. I think a lot of people like that bed as well. And then you have some more specialized options that I think are still pretty nice. I think a lot of people will like the Raven because of its flippable design. And the Quail mattress is a pretty interesting answer to a lot of other brands all foam bed. So I think there's a lot to like with Nest Bedding and they do have some very generous policies so you can try out their bed for even 10 months and then decide to return it if you don't like it. So let us know what you think, which of these Nest Beds are your favorite. Let us know in the comments and we have a ton of information in the description so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. But it's gonna do it for me. This is Onisine at Home. I'll see you in the next one.